So a couple weeks ago, we went to New York for the New York Porn Show. And before the show, we actually got to go on Maury Povich. Yeah, that's right, Maury Povich. In case you missed it, here's some clips. If you talk about drugs, talk about alcohol, talk about gambling, at some point, I mean, everybody says, you can't stop until you almost feel that you're at the bottom. So there is a man in the audience who helped you kick your hat. And his name is uh, Craig Gross. He found an organization called the Tupac Church. So how did you get Brian? What did you do with Brian? No, we were having a men's breakfast, and I'll never forget it. I see Brian uh, come up after the event. And most people never talk to anyone about porn, let alone come up to you after your event and, and say, this is my struggle. And uh, a few uh, hours later, he goes home to his wife. He tells her that he was struggling with this. He burns all his porn in the fire at, at the house, uh, makes this little fire, uh, calls me up later, and he says, Craig, I've got to get involved. I, I want to help others. Just that weight had lifted as soon as he had shared it with a group of guys that prayed for him and then shared it with his wife. And it wasn't... Um, perfect after that, but I know that was um, the one big thing. So you went, you don't watch porn? No, no more. At, none at all. <laughs> it's been almost two years. One of the other cool things that happened is we actually met a guy who promotes a gay porn show. And in seven years at Triple X Church, we've never been to a gay show. Um, so we're thrilled at the chance to, to go, the opportunity that was in front of us, and, um, and so we went. Uh, the only problem was about half the team was in Washington. I was speaking out there. We were doing all sorts of events. Actually, you saw that last week. And, um, and so, but we, we put together a team, and it, it consists of Sam Sanchez, uh, that adorable guy on the, uh, on the, on the camera, and uh, his wife, Rachel, and then Rachel Collins, who... A lot of you have seen from past porn show experiences. So the three of them took off for New York. Uh, it had an incredible time. You're going to see all about it. And I can't wait personally to go next year uh, as we've already got the invitation to go back. <laughs>
path in life and it's like what do you want to do with it? Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. You know what? If you like doing porn, that's fine, but that's not a career. It's 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 something that you do as you know a gig, maybe you're taking a year off from school, but Jesus it, so many of them are they're bright. They're intelligent young men. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so, fine, if you want to do porn, it's easy money, great, but then what else are you doing, too, to further yeah. yourself, right? What do you, what do you, what do you Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sherry Fine, and I want to welcome you all here to Manhattan Center for Gay Erotic Expo. You guys ready for a little uh, skin and talking and fun and showtime? Are you ready? One of the guys just asked us if we want to get on stage and talk about what we're doing. So we're after a guy that's going to show us booty. Yeah. Booty and then us. If we can make it a round of applause, this is Rachel, this is Sam, and they are from Triple X Church. Okay. So basically we believe that God loves porn stars. We believe he loves the drag queen, mm -hmm. trannies, all of them, everybody. We believe that he loves all of those that watch porn. Um, we don't necessarily endorse porn, um, but we're not here to spread a message of hate, we're here to spread a message of love. And we know for a fact that, that God loves everybody in this room, and, um, and yeah, that's what we got, it's all about. Yeah. What, so, you make your living as in drag, and then you don't have, you don't have like a desk job or anything, right? Like, no. No, it's a lot of work. I mean, I'm always like, I, yeah, I sing live, I don't lip sync. You'll see one of my numbers in this next set. Okay. It's all funny, so I'm always working on something, and there's a lot of like, and I get up every morning, I go jogging, then I do yoga, and I gotta stay fit, and then I go, and I'm working on the show for that night, and if I'm traveling, so yeah. it's not like yeah. just sitting around. You but know? you're totally due during the day. Totally. Two days in New York, gay porn convention. Um, I'm a little tired right now. It's been a lot of nudity, a lot of you know um, shenanigans. Definitely was a lot looter than uh, most of the conventions that I've been to. Um, I mean, I didn't get hit on. Sam did a lot, um, but in reality, I think that there's always been a connection that I have with. Um, these gay men and that they really just want someone to love them and so really the whole convention was me constantly telling these guys over and over again that um, you know maybe you know things that they're doing in their life are not the best for them and they'd probably agree but um, that they know that God loves them and um, most of the time I was met with uh, just hugs and kisses and just um, thankfulness for being there um, we had a couple guys get kind of crazy on me um, I think they, you know, called me some pretty bad names, um, but it was, you know, kind of showy, kind of crazy. Um, otherwise, a great show. Um, I was really glad to be there and just uh, met a couple guys who, I don't know, just really, really needed to hear that uh, that people within the Christian community care about them, and um, you know, it was all worth it. I guess maybe I don't know. Right now, it's too much nudity. So right after. The team got back from the porn show. I, I got this email from the promoter. He says this, he says, thanks guys for coming out to the show. Your crew was incredibly welcoming and willing to speak with anyone and everyone. We even gave them stage time and a prime slot to promote your message. Your exposure was at its peak with attendees at the time because it was during our fashion show. All eyes were on them. And I said to your guy, I don't remember his name, but I said, you're not gonna get up there and say, well, God hates gays or anything like that. 
and he quickly assured me that you guys weren't there with a message of saving our lost, condemned souls, but rather to spread God's love. That stuck with me, because religious organizations preach that only God is the true judge, yet no, I have no problem protesting a funeral of a murdered hate crime victim for being gay. I'd say that's the ultimate form of judgment upon another human being. Your message, though, that, that God loves everyone, and the fact that your determination to spread that word, even in what I'm sure was the craziest and weirdest event and location your crew has ever witnessed, it shows to me that you guys are doing a great and selfless thing. We'd love to have you guys back next year. Please keep doing what you're doing. Thanks again. P.S. The gays thought your crew was adorable. I don't think they're talking about Rachel and Rachel. So, the gays thought Sam was adorable. Uh, we loved them. It was a total shock to have a Bible handed to you in the midst of such debauchery. That's why we do it.